What if I told you that you could create printable cards like this on your laptop, upload them to Etsy, and start earning hundreds of dollars per month? Wait, are you serious? Yes, I am being serious, which is why I'm gonna show you how to create these cards and upload them for free. And you know what's really great about this method is that once you've uploaded the PDF of your card, it can be sold thousands of times without you ever having to lay a hand on physical inventory, which means you could be making sales whilst you're sleeping. Let's get into the tutorial. So the first thing you would need to do is come over to canva.com I'll leave a link for that in the description. You could use the free version or you'll be able to access a 30-day trial of the paid version, okay? Once you're on Canva, what you need to do is actually click create a design. Now, when creating the cards, you need to know that the popular card sizes are actually 4x6 and also 5x7. So you're gonna go to create design. Then once you're at create design, you're gonna click where it says custom size, okay? And then you're gonna make sure that it's set to inches. So you're gonna click here and then click inches. Now you're gonna insert 4x6. So you're gonna click create new design. Now, once you've done this, as you could see, Canva has opened up a blank document. So I could zoom in or out using this little arrow over here. I like to just zoom in just so I could see the design fully. Now, once you've done that, you can go ahead and label your design. Now, when it comes to coming up with designs for your cards, you can go ahead and search on Etsy, take a look at the greeting cards. You can search on Google, take a look, or you could even do Pinterest. If you have a design in mind, that's great. But if you can't, you can take inspiration from these sites. Now, just because New Year's is coming up, I'm gonna show you how I would create a design for New Year's. So I would go ahead and go into elements just to see if I can get anything that correlates with New Year. And then once I've done that, I'll go ahead and click to graphics. And as you could see, Canva is showing me all these different graphics that I could use. If you're worried about, do you have access to actually use these graphics commercially? Yes, you do. You could click the three dots where you see at the top and click this eye. Now, when you do this, as you can see, okay, you could use this safely in Canva to design for personal and commercial uses, okay? So if you're ever wondering about that, you could always just check for yourself now once i've come to this page i'm just gonna click some graphics so i like this one and i could even change the color so i'm gonna use this to change the color you click on your graphic at the top over here it shows colors you can go ahead and edit your colors from there i want to duplicate this again so i'll right click duplicate now i have two and then I, i'm just gonna go ahead and center this design now in order to group it i'm just gonna click like this okay and then i'm gonna click group now it's grouped together and then i can make this bigger and both of them would become bigger okay now the next thing to do is add in some text the way you do this you head to text and then you click add a heading and then you could write in what you want now once i've written that in i can go ahead and change the fonts in this box at the top here and just choose a font style I like now if i'm happy with this i can right click on this click copy and then i could click paste if i want another text box or i could right click and click duplicate and i have another one so i'm going ahead and typing new so now i have this so i can just go ahead and bring this lower i can highlight all of these items here to use them make sure it's all centered okay i like them and i can make it all small like this and I could also change the color over here. And then I could actually go back to where it says elements. And I could even go ahead and add maybe something at the top like this if I really wanted to. It's already at the bracket if I wanted. I could bring it to the front and make it look like this. If I wanted to, I could also add it at the bottom. I would just go here. You see here, you would twist it around like this. So for these types of designs, I recommend you keep them on white paper, okay? So now that you've designed the front of your card, you need to go ahead and design the back. So all you're gonna do is simply once again, add another page. It's already in the correct sizing. And then normally, you know how cards have like something like this at the back so you can just go ahead and add the name of your store or just any simple logo like that so if my store was called let's just say mons guide i would call it mons guide and then i would just keep it small so something like this when you're doing your card make sure you can't with like a cute design that you actually like but for now i'm just going to use this example okay so now that you have the front of your card design and the back of your card design you need to go ahead and where it says share you're going to click share and then you're going to click download okay you're going to download this as a jpg and then you're going to just increase the quality now now you could only do this if you have canva pro again the link for the free trial is in the description and then you'll go ahead and download the front page okay now that you have the design of the card now you need to design the card that your customer will receive once they purchase the item now the way you do this is you know that they will be printing your design on an 11 by 8.5 paper which is just the size of a standard blank paper okay now the standard size might be different in your country you could do a google search to figure that out so what you're gonna do is head back over to canva click create design custom size and you're gonna make Make sure it is still set in inches and then you're gonna do the same thing now you typed it in 11 by 8.5 inches and you click create new design so this is gonna create the blank design of what a blank sheet of paper is gonna look like 
so now that you have this what you're gonna do is head back over to where it says elements okay once you're in elements you're gonna get a square shape get this shape so now once you get this shape what you're gonna do you're gonna make this shape eight by six the reason you're doing this is because remember on canva you design the front and the back now these are both over here four okay and then this is four and then the top is six inches okay so if it's on a blank sheet of paper it would need to be the four and four put together so that's eight with the same height six okay you're gonna stretch this out to eight because again it's both sides the front and the back of the paper so you see on the width it says eight so now you know you're good and then for the height it stays the same as six and you just stop when it says six okay there you go so now you know what the card will look like on the blank sheet of paper you can go ahead and center this then you want to hit color at the top and click this one to remove the background then you're gonna click the line okay you're gonna click dotted line i prefer maybe even the slight line like that set the border weight to about one or two once you've done that now you just add it in a line on the paper so the customer knows where to cut their card okay so you could go ahead and locate a scissors from elements so you're gonna make that scissors a bit smaller and then you're just gonna go ahead and maybe add it over here just so the customer knows hey cut this paper here <laughs> so now you need to add your design because again you're creating the design that the customer is actually going to get what you're gonna do is head back to where you designed your four by six card and then you're gonna find a shape take the square and then what you're gonna do is you're gonna extend it to the size of this paper make sure the corners hit when it hits canva let you know and then you're gonna right click and click send to back then you'll go ahead and just change the color to something that's not so for example purple so then what you're gonna do next is you're gonna just highlight everything on your card and then you're gonna right click and then you're gonna click copy you're gonna head back over to this design you're gonna right click and then you're gonna click paste now the reason you want to do it like this is because you want to be able to place it on the paper and be able to recognize where the line is this helps ensure that the design of your card stays within the line so you've done this for the front and you're gonna go ahead and do the same exact thing for the back and then you're gonna place it into the square again make sure the corners match and just like that you're almost ready to go so once you've done that you're gonna click delete this background click on the background delete it so now this is what the customer is gonna receive okay and all they need to do is cut out the line and then fold their card so now once you've done this and you're gonna label it so now that you have this in order what you're gonna do is download this you need to download this two ways you're gonna go over to download you're gonna go over to the drop down arrow and then you're gonna download this as a pdf print you're gonna flatten the pdf this just ensures that it prints properly and smoothly then you're gonna go to color profile and click best for professional printing so then after you do that all you do is hit download and then canva is gonna download it for you also want to come back again and download it as a jpeg so that you can use it for your promotional method which i will show you next okay so if you go into etsy and you look at the cards what you'll notice is that they all have this design like they're on a desk or something so this is almost like a mock-up of the card they also have for example just some extra slides about the card just to be more incentives towards the customer to get their card okay it's always good to have more images so in order to do this you're gonna go back to canva now once on canva you're gonna click create a new design etsy recommends you use at least 2000 pixels wide to ensure that your photo is best quality so you're gonna go ahead and click custom size and then i'm just gonna do 2500 by 2000 pixels and show you've selected set pixels in the corner over there and then click create design so now once you have this i'm gonna show you a template that i want you to follow essentially what you want to do is make it look something like this for the background you could head over to elements and simply just search background okay canva gives you many many backgrounds as you can see go to graphics or you could even go to photos and then you could use all these backgrounds for your backgrounds but essentially this is what you're gonna have just screenshot this with digital download if you're selling the five by seven you do this make sure you have an important page saying the important stuff about the card okay and then i just like to add this extra one in you know purchase once they could print it unlimited times digital download what you want to then do remember that photo of the card i told you to save as a jpeg you're gonna upload that card to this document and have it on the page here so go ahead where it says uploads locate the file in your computer and then add it to this page okay so once you've added your file in as you could see you could go ahead and expand it if you want it to be bigger or make it smaller it's again up to you and then for the digital download i like that to be on the foreground so you could just right click on it and click bring to front so now it's in front of the little piece so now that you have this done and then you have your important page done and you could add in a page like this you don't have to say this you could say anything you want now again going back to etsy you notice they have the mock-up looking designs okay if you want you can get mock-ups on a site called pexels.com but i'm gonna show you how you could actually create that using canva okay head over to canva's homepage and you're gonna create an exact page again 2005 by 200 pixels okay now once you've come to the page i'm gonna show you a trick that actually makes your life 10 times easier all you're gonna do is head over to elements and then you're just gonna do a simple 
simple search for greeting card okay so once you've done that you're gonna not head to graphics but photos and here you actually have access to mockups all you do is select it extend it to meet the corners of your page using the sides now if you remember when you created your design earlier on remember i told you to save this as a jpeg now what you're gonna do is you're gonna upload that jpeg of the front page of design to this page now once you've gotten the file from your uploads it's gonna be on your page like this so now you can go ahead and tilt it to the side because you want it to match the card in your background okay and then you can zoom in a little more so that you could see what you're doing better but then go ahead and just adjust the card so it matches the card within the background so now that once you have your card there it already looks like oh wow like is this a card actually on a table on the screen now if you wanted to pop a little extra you can click on the design and then go into edit image okay and once you get there you're gonna click shadows if it's not at the top you could find it at the bottom here you're gonna click glow once you've done that it's gonna make your design have a glow behind it click on it again so you can edit it and then click apply if you remember how we have the digital download you can go ahead and add that into your page again so you see where it says circle in the element section click on circle okay, it's already in brown so now you can just add it okay type in the text okay, so then highlight both of them and then make them bigger okay and then we're gonna just change the text of the font to bobby jones and then just like that we have a text saying that it's a digital download to remind people that this is a digital download card and now you have your mock-up that looks just like all these other mock-ups so once you've done that you're gonna download it as a jpeg and ensure you have the quality set to the highest level and then hit download once it's done you have your mock-up downloaded you have all the extra templates you're gonna want to use for your card and on top of that you actually have the card itself downloaded as a pdf that the customer is going to use once they actually purchase your item so what you now need to do is head over to etsy now when it comes to creating a listing on etsy it costs 20 usd cents per listing but if you use the link in my description you would get 40 free listings so when you start this method you could start it out truly for free and you could create up to 40 listings before you actually have to spend those 20 cents now once you've done that you'll go into your shop manager and select listings and you'll click to create a new listing now once you're on the listing page okay the first thing it shows you is the photos this is where you add in the photos i showed you how to make from your computer so locate those files on your computer and add them in now once you've added in the photos it should look something like this okay then you can go ahead and drag and drop to ensure that your photos are in the right order always ensure that your mock-up is first you scroll down a bit and you see where it says adjust thumbnail this is where you can adjust your mock-up to ensure that it fits perfectly so people get the entire gist of your card okay once you've done that click save now once you have that first part done you scroll down and it's time to do the second part which is tell us about the listing who made it you made it okay what is it it's a finished product and when did you make it you made it in 2022 so select the first option 2020 to 2022 in regards to the renewal options i would say set it to automatic and the type of product it is it's a digital product okay when it comes to your title know what card you're creating we've created a new year 2023 card so i would name my card something along that line and then i would add in a bunch of other keywords that correlate with my card to ensure that my card will be ranking in search now once you've done that you need to add in the description don't overthink this i'm gonna give you guys an exact template of a description which is over here just make sure you set the information to your information so what you're gonna do though in the first paragraph you're gonna actually add in a paragraph about your card and also insert keywords into that paragraph to ensure that your card gets picked up by the algorithm and gets recommended to people okay and then the first section says why this card the second part will tell them what they will receive so in this document we only have created a four by six card so i'll go ahead and just take this part out just because we only have this card and you're also telling them that it's not a physical product okay no physical items will be shipped so don't expect one tell them how it works the refund policy and just some note was okay so now once you've done that you're gonna scroll right down and then you see where it says tags so you're gonna add in relevant tags type in the relevant tag and then all you do is you click enter then it adds in a tag so you can add up to 13 cards once you've done that it's time for pricing so as you can see people are selling the cards for about 427 349 712 it all depends on you but i say just because you're just getting into the space stick with the lower price of maybe 349 add in the price of 350 okay quantity it's unlimited so you can add 999 and where it says digital files this is where you upload the pdf version of the file you saved from earlier okay now once you've done that etsy is going to import the card and as you can see the card is right there so as for returns and exchanges no returns because with digital products they can't send you the digital back right so now once you have this done you can go ahead and click publish as you can see etsy told us that we forgot to do something which was the category so you can go ahead and category and then just add a card okay so now we can go back down and try to click publish see if we got everything so then when you hit publish it's going to show you this message saying you're going to use maybe one out of your however many listings hit publish and your card will be published
accomplished. But there's one important bonus I want to show you guys. When you want to do your product research and your title research and your tag research, you want to come to a site called Etsy Hunt. I'll leave a link for them in the description. So what you're going to do is head over to the product database. Now once here, you're going to come over to Etsy, you want to find cards that are selling well. Etsy shows us the cards and this card is a bestseller. So what you're going to do, for example, if you're creating a birthday card or a card similar to this, you could right click and then all you're going to do is click copy the link. Okay. Then you're going to come over to Etsy Hunt and you're gonna paste that link here and then etsy hunt is actually gonna show you the card now for more information you can go to the product details page once you're on that page you will have access to the title which you could use to compete the tags they're using and you know this is selling look there was one week they made 14 sales 7 sales 9 sales 12 12 okay so in the past couple of months they've been making lots of sales and for all these sales they never had to go back and redesign and ship it out they could be sleeping and the sales would be going through now when it comes to the tags and finding out what's the best tag let's just say you see one of the tags they have so for example pun birthday card you can go ahead and simply click that tag etsy hands will open a page where you see the competition of that tag if you need more examples scroll all the way to the bottom and as you can see etsy hands give you examples of other keywords you could use for example 30th birthday you can go ahead and click that and it's gonna open it up again showing you the views the competition the sales okay but again you could literally go direct to shops let's say if you maybe want to sell a card card get this see how many sales they're making if you know it's working for them you can recreate that and let it work for you too so that's just a bonus tip about how you can ensure that your cards are ranking and you're making the best out of this business all that's missing is for you to actually go out there and take the steps and what i want you guys to remember is that consistency equals results and results you can scale so if you've been looking for a way to make some money whilst being creative this could be the side hustle for you and if you found this video helpful and educational be sure to check out this other video on my channel for some more money making methods